Kamewaza are generally known as Newaza and consist of Osai Komiwaza, Shimewaza and Kansetsuwaza. Nagewaza and Katamewaza are like the two sides of a coin and to improve your judo it's important to practice both. Katamewaza can be combined with Nagewaza to carry out a continuous attack. The possibilities are limitless and so are the possibilities for continuing on from an Osai Komiwaza to a Shimewaza or Kansetsuwaza or from a Shimewaza to a Kansetsuwaza. By mastering Katamewaza you'll achieve a whole new dimension in judo. The highly sophisticated techniques involved in Kodokan Judo Katamewaza have an inner strength that will help improve all your techniques. Let's start by looking at the 29 basic techniques and variations in Katamewaza. The seven Osai Komiwaza techniques are often used in competition. There are 12 Shimewaza techniques. Okuri Erijime is often used in competition, but Dojime is prohibited in Randori and competition. The application of a Kansetsu Waza will help you win instantaneously. However, the Ashigarami technique is not allowed in Randori or in competition. The objective of Osai Komiwaza is to get an unbroken hold on your opponent that he can't get out of within a fixed time limit. Hold him down on his back, facing him as you do so, and make sure he's unable to grip or seize your trunk or legs with his legs. This is how to apply a Hon Kesagatame from the right. Clamp your opponent's right arm in your left armpit and put your right arm around his neck. Extend your right leg forward and your left leg backward and use your body to apply pressure and hold him down. The term Honkesagatame includes all related techniques. Let's look at some of the variations on Honkesagatame. Clasping your hands together will help tighten your hold. If your opponent attempts to twist and free himself, restrain him by extending your left leg forward. And press your right knee firmly against his body. Use your right arm to hold down your opponent's upper arm and shoulder. Make sure to press down with your body and not just use your arm. When holding down your opponent's shoulder with your right arm, you may also bring your leg up towards you to respond to his movements. Keep your chest firmly pressed against his body. Let's see how Yasuhiro Yamashita applies a Honkesagatame from an Ouchigari. Notice how he restrains his opponent's arm by pulling with his right. Here you'll see Kenji Osuki applying a Soto Makikomi from the right. He traps his opponent's arm firmly under his left arm. Kuzure Kesagatame is a modification of Hon Kesagatame. Slip your right arm under your opponent's left armpit and grip his collar. Let's take another look at this. When gripping your opponent's left lapel with your right arm, it's important to keep his body firmly pressed against yours. This is a variation in which you grasp your opponent's lapel near the back of his neck and hold him down, balancing yourself with your right hand and legs. Slip your left arm right under his neck, 
so that you can firmly grasp and pull at his lapel. Place your right hand on the tatami to maintain balance. This variation involves trapping your opponent's right arm between your legs. Reach around his right elbow and apply a scissor hold with your legs. Tuck your right leg firmly under your opponent's head as if it were a pillow or makura and secure your hold by gripping your right knee with your right hand. And here's what used to be called Ushiro Kesagatame. You can also slip your right hand underneath his right shoulder to apply an arm lock. This technique is often used to lead into Kuzure Kesagatame. The important thing is to trap his arm firmly in your armpit. In this variation you use both hands to trap your opponent's arm. This is also a Kuzure Kesagatame. Bear down on his arm and upper body. Let's watch a Kuzure Kesagatame performed by Ingrid Bergmans of Belgium. As soon as she breaks her opponent's balance, she goes straight into the hold. She has a firm grip on her opponent's lapel and draws her arm tightly around. Taking full advantage of their weight difference, she gains full control over her opponent. Here we have Raskan of Germany going from an Ogoshi to a Kuzure Kesagatame. He maintains a tight grip on his opponent's sleeve to trap his arm. Van Barneveld of Belgium crushes his opponent Seo Inage and applies a Kuzure Kesagatame. He maintains his hold by pulling his opponent's collar firmly towards him with his left hand. And now let's watch Jun Kono execute a Kuzure Kesagatame at the All Japan Judo Championships. His opponent's right arm with both hands, he executes a throw and goes straight into the hold, making sure to keep his opponent's arm tightly under his armpit. The kata gatame is a hold executed by pressing your right knee firmly against your opponent's right hip, bearing down with your head and neck to clasp both hands around his neck and arm. Clasp your hands, palms crossed, and draw your elbows to your side to tighten your hold. Make sure to keep the balls of your feet on the mat. It's important to maintain your balance while controlling your opponent. You can either bring your knees up or spread your legs out wide in response to your opponent's movements. If necessary, you can also place your hands on the mat to maintain your balance. The important thing is to keep your opponent under control. Let's take a look at the basic Kami Shihogatame. 
slip your hands under your opponent's arms and grab his belt on both sides, thumbs on top. Draw your elbows to your side to tighten your hold and press down with the area of your chest. Keep your hips low, draw your elbows to your side and bear down with your body to secure your hold. You can also stretch your legs out, or if your opponent attempts to arch his back, you can raise your hips and shift your weight forward. You could also cross your legs in the Kuzure Kesagatame fashion. The important thing is to shift your hips and legs to maintain your control. Instead of slipping your hands under his arms, you can reach over and grab his belt to restrain his upper body. In this variation, your opponent is lying face down. Reach under and grab both sides of his collar, flip him over and hold him down. Use your opponent's resistance to flip him over and quickly change the position of your legs and hips so you can bear down on his upper body. Be sure not to loosen your hold on his collar and maintain your balance to prevent him from restraining your hands. And here's how to go from a yoko sankakujime, where you lock your opponent's neck and arm with your legs from the side, to a kami shihogatame. When you turn your opponent over to the side in the yoko sankaku position, he may attempt to escape by rolling over in that direction. You must therefore move quickly to face him and hold him down. Let's watch the 1987 All Japan Champion Yoshimi Masaki apply a Kami Shihogatame. Sweeping his opponent with a Harai Tsurikomiyashi, he goes straight into the Kami Shihogatame. An impressive performance making full use of his weight. Yoko Tanabe was the bronze medalist in the Belgrade World Championships. She chokes her opponent with her left hand and continues with a Kami Shihogatame. From a position diagonally to the right of your opponent's head, pass your right hand over his right shoulder and around his arm and trap his arm in your armpit while your left hand grabs the side of his belt. Apply pressure with the area of your chest to hold him down. Here's how you grab the back of your opponent's collar. Lower your hips and bear down, making sure that he can't free his right arm. Here's how you grab your opponent's belt with your hands crossed. Crossing your hands enables you to strengthen your hold, making it difficult for your opponent to free himself. You can also restrain his arm by half wrapping the bottom of his jacket over his wrist. Firmly secure his arm with the bottom of his jacket. Here, your opponent is on all fours. Approach him from the front and roll him over to apply a kata hajime and hold him down. The important thing is to roll over and go into the hold from a kata hajime. 
Your opponent is on all fours. Get behind him and roll him over to hold him down. Notice the use of both hands. Grip your opponent's collar with one hand and slip the other hand over his shoulder and under his arm to trap the arm and hold him down. If your opponent manages to seize your legs with his legs, the hold becomes nullified or broken. To prevent this from happening, it's important to make the most of your hands, extending your arms to block his legs. Your opponent is on all fours. Break his balance and apply a yoko sankako jime. Maintaining this lock, shift your body to face him and hold him down. Pay special attention to the use of your left hand after coming face to face with your opponent. You lock your opponent's neck and arm by forming a triangle with your legs. This is one way to restrain your opponent's arm. Let's watch Olympic champion Hitoshi Saito apply a Kuzure Kami Shiho Gatame. He pushes his opponent's neck with his right hand and grabs the bottom of his opponent's collar to flip him over. He maintains his balance while holding his opponent down. Kinjiro Mototani is famous for his newaza. Let's watch his Kuzure Kamishiho Katame. He maintains a strong grip with his right hand and responds well to his opponent's movements. And now a match in the 48 kilogram category from the Belgrade World Championships. Let's watch Karen Briggs of Britain apply a Kamishiho Gatame on Japan's Esaki. Notice how Esaki's right hand has already been tied down with her obi. Having restrained Esaki's right wrist, Briggs continues to restrain Esaki's right shoulder and holds her down. And now for Yoko Shiho Gatame. Your opponent is lying on his back. Approach him from his right side and with your right hand reach around his left thigh and grab the side of his belt. Slide your left hand under his neck and grab the side of his collar. Press down with your chest to hold him down. In response to your opponent's movements, you can release your right hand from his belt and put your arm around his body to restrain him with your upper body. Let's look at this in slow motion. Your right hand is used to check your opponent's movements and maintain balance. After putting your right arm around your opponent's body, you can grab hold of your own collar to restrain his neck. 
At the same time, if you grab hold of his inner right thigh, you can stop him from moving his hips and legs freely. Let's take another look at how the collar is held and how the right hand is used. If your opponent attempts to twist and escape by slipping his left arm underneath your chest, bear down on him, arm and all, to keep him under control. The important thing here is to use your right elbow effectively. Placing your right hand on the mat helps to control your opponent's movements and maintain your balance. You can restrain your opponent's arm by wrapping the bottom of his jacket halfway round his wrist. Another way of controlling his arm is to apply a tegatame or hand arm lock. Place your right hand on the mat for balance. Let's watch Hitoshi Saito apply a Yoko Shihogatame from a Tai Otoshi. He has full control over his opponent's left arm and shoulder and uses his weight to hold him down. And now for a Yoko Shihogatame by world champion Naoya Ogawa. He grabs the back of his opponent's collar, locks his opponent's left arm between his legs and bears down with his body. And now for Tate Shihogatame. Sitting astride your opponent's chest, wrap your arms around his neck and arm to trap him between your neck and hands. Lock your legs around his hips and pin him down with the area of your chest. In this variation, wrap your arms around his arms and control his upper body to apply the hold. As soon as you get your arms around him, shift your weight onto his arms. You can also control him by pressing down with your head and neck, as in katagatame. Another way of restraining him is to twist your arm around his neck and grab your own belt to trap his neck. Watch how the arm goes around the neck to grab the belt and how the legs are positioned. Reaching over your opponent's shoulder, you grab the back of his belt to go from a Yoko Shihogatame to a Tate Shihogatame. The important thing is to react quickly and straddle your opponent to make the transition to Tate Shihogatame. And this is what to do to control mainly the right arm.
grab your opponent's right arm with your left hand and bring your right arm around his elbow as in Ude Hishigi Ude Gatame. Grab your own collar to tighten the hold. Your left hand is placed on the mat for balance. Let's take a look at this from a different angle. Trap your opponent's shoulders and torso with your legs to keep him under control. If you decide to restrain his upper body in the katakatame style, you can bring your right arm around his neck and grab the left side of your collar to tighten the hold. When going from a yoko shiho, with your right hand grabbing your opponent's belt, to a tate shiho gatame, your left hand plays a vital role. Notice the use of the left hand. Your opponent is on all fours. Approaching him from behind, grab both sides of his collar to turn him over and hold him down. Straddle him as soon as you turn him over. Make sure that one hand remains on his collar throughout the hold. Katsuhiko Kashiwazaki, the 1981 world champion, excels in Newaza. Let's watch him apply a Tate Shio Gatame. He restrains his opponent's right shoulder and maintains his balance with his head. And here's Kashiwazaki applying a Tate Shihogatame in another match. Take special note of how he controls his opponent's right shoulder and his timing in disengaging his leg. どうですかこの攻めは。いいじゃないですか。これから足で。これから足を抜いて横四方に移ろうというところですね。ワイ、ヒル。縦四方に入りました。縦四方固め。反対からは拍手が起こります。寝技の柏崎。押さえ込みに
In Shimewaza, you use your hands, legs, arms or lapels to choke the opponent, applying pressure to his trachea or carotid arteries. A skillfully executed Shimewaza will lead to instant victory. The following techniques are forbidden in competition. Applying a choke lock to a part of the body other than the neck, strangulation with the legs, strangulation using the end of the belt or bottom of the jacket, strangulation with fists or fingers. In Nami Juji Jime, you cross your wrists and grip your opponent's collar with both hands with your thumbs inside the collar and choke him by applying pressure to the side of his neck. When crossing your wrists, the back of your hand should be facing upward. The main point in Nami Ju Jijime is to choke your opponent by drawing your hands tightly together. When attempting this technique from beneath your opponent, make sure to pull tightly with your arms to prevent him from pulling you up. Reach around his head and grab the side of his collar with your right hand and pull immediately. And here's how to apply a Nami Ju Jijime from behind. When applying the technique from behind and under, it's important to restrain your opponent's lower body with your legs to prevent him from pulling you up. In Gyaku Ju Jijime, cross your wrists and grab both sides of your opponent's collar using a reverse grip with the thumbs outside and the fingers inside the collar choke him by applying pressure to the side of his neck. Let's watch the action again. Grab the collar so that your palms are facing upwards and choke him right away. Here's how to apply a Gyaku Ju Jijime when you're on your back. Use your legs to control your opponent's lower body, the hips and legs, to prevent him from pulling you up. In Kata Ju Jijime, you cross your wrists and grab both sides of your opponent's collar to choke him by applying pressure to his neck. What makes it different from Nami Ju Jijime and Gyaku Ju Jijime is that the palms of both hands are facing each other. Lean forward and pull him towards you while applying the choke. Here's how to apply the stranglehold while trapping your opponent's arm in your armpit. Here's how to escape your opponent's kuzure kesagatame by turning him over on his back following with a stranglehold. Grab the back of his collar with one hand while the other hand grips the front. Push him back and apply the stranglehold. Here's how to enter into a stranglehold from a standing position facing your opponent. The technique is similar to throwing him over your shoulder. Notice how the right hand grips the collar. The difference in the three Juji Jime holds lies in the way you grip your opponent's collar. In Nami Juji Jime, the thumbs of both hands are inside the collar. In Gyaku Jujijime, the palms are turned up with the fingers inside the collar. In 
kata jujijime, you cross your wrists so that both palms are facing each other. One hand grabs the opponent's collar with the thumb inside and fingers out, while the other hand does the reverse. Hadaka jime is a stranglehold applied with both arms without holding the judogi. Clasp your hands together, palms crossed, and pull your opponent towards you, throwing him off balance as you tighten your arms around his neck. You can also lock your arms together to apply the hold. When your opponent is on all fours, turn him over to apply the stranglehold. This is how to apply the stranglehold while facing your opponent on all fours. Be careful of how you clasp your hands and use your upper body to tighten the pressure around his neck. Here's how to apply a stranglehold to an opponent who's attempting to pin you down on your back with a kamishihogatame. The main point here is the use of your right arm and legs. Once again, take note of how the arm and legs are locked together. This is a variation of Hadakajime. Here's the model form or kata of okuri erijime. Reach under your opponent's left armpit with your left hand and pull his left lapel down. Reach around his neck with your right hand and grab high up on his left lapel while your left hand grabs the opposite lapel. Apply the choke by drawing your right arm around his neck while pulling down with your left. Here's how to apply the choke from behind an opponent who's on all fours. And this is a demonstration of how to approach from the side when your opponent is on all fours. By bringing your legs around, you can bear down with your upper body to restrain his movements. Use your right arm to prevent him from moving forward and apply the choke. This is a very effective technique since you're holding him in place with your right elbow while applying the choke. Approach your opponent who's on all fours from the front, roll over and apply the stranglehold. Be sure to grab his collar so that your hold around his neck tightens as you roll over.